We're tasting foods turned inside out. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to taste foods turned inside out, but first, therapy is a good way to turn your feelings and thoughts inside out, verbalizing and getting things off your chest. And that's why this portion of today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Starting therapy can be hard. There's a whole list of reasons why therapy can sometimes be inaccessible. Cost, the lack of options, the lack of convenience, and these are all things that BetterHelp aims to alleviate. Yeah, if you're someone who finds in-person therapy uncomfortable or daunting, BetterHelp might be the answer. Answer. With BetterHelp, you can do whatever version of therapy is most comfortable for you, whether that's a phone call, a video chat, or even via messaging. And you can get started today by visiting our link, betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning. The therapists are all licensed and have been trained to give you helpful, unbiased advice. And signing up is easy. To get started, just fill out the questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist. In most cases, it takes 48 hours or less. And if the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like the right fit, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network or anything like that. You know, some people spend a lot of hours at the gym each week. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like the gym for your mind. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning to get 10% off your first month. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, you know we have an amazing kitchen team and over mm -hmm. the years they have created dishes far beyond our wildest dreams. They're so good, in fact, that we might have gotten a little drunk with power because yep. today we've asked them to do something that breaks the laws of food physics entirely. We asked them to turn food inside out. It's time for Every Little Inside Food hopes to grow up and become outside food. Today is that day. Okay, this is a regular taco. <laughs> Under here, we are about to see the it first inside ever out taco? inside out taco. Can it be done? Can it, Lily? I think it can be done. Oh, I have high hopes because Lily's on the case. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> so wow. I see the tortilla is uh, in, uh, inside. <laughs> it's so, stuffed in there. It's, it's kind of... It's got a comedic flair to it. I did not expect it to be <laughs> the, the the whole inside of the taco to be Okay, tell us just a, is that crumbled shell. Is it crumbled shell all the way to the bottom of it's, the taco? It's crumbled shell, all crumbled shell. <laughs> and so what's on the outside? Everything else, Link. Cheese, <laughs> taco meat, pico, beans. No beans. Oh, that's just meat. Some Look wilted at that lettuce. Meaty shell. Okay. So I there's get... wilted lettuce in there. Yep. This might make a little bit of a mess. So is it just the cheese holding it together? It's gonna be quite a crunch link. Sink Dink it. Hey, sink it. Oh good. <laughs> a little dry. Mm. It's very dry. Very dry. Taste wise um, though. Like I've swallowed it and it's and it's just it's just stopped right here. Um and I swallowed again. Not to insult the two, chef. Two clumps right here. But I bet I bet you if I just bit that. Yeah, like if we get maybe got rid of that. <laughs> just ate this. Or just a little bit. Get rid of it a little bit. So there's still a little bit in there. Now this is fun. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That's real nice, Lily. Mm-hmm. It's really good when you get rid of the all the shell in the middle. Um, you know, of course, KFC did this with the double down, but I would say Taco Bell is the most likely to try this because they're most likely to try anything. They would probably do this as like an April Fool's thing. You know what I'm saying? Because as an ad, but they wouldn't go through the trouble Lily went through. I mean, how much? How, how easy was this? Was it just like a first try, or was? Um, it took a little bit of R and D, but. Just a I little R&D. So, well, so we need to be gentle. Here's the thing. Uh, it's a little greasy on the outside. <laughs> uh, I had to immediately reach for the napkin. It's a little chippy on the inside. A little chippy on the inside, a it's little bit funny. of dry. So, it's definitely funny, I'm it, laughing. 
When you're buying so many things at Taco Bell, you could add this little funny one too. You know? I like that. I mean, it's got a lot going for it, but is it an insight? Inside it, out win or a sin? Is, is it better saying. than the original? It's not almost as good, but. I mean, we're really enjoying it, Lily. You did a great job. There's a little Thank bit you. less of the chips in there. It does help. But I think tacos are an inside out sin. sin. A little reminder, Link, this is what a regular Snickers looks like. A chocolate log. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh it broke. No, it's, oh. that's how they do them now. Seriously? A, this, is this a mega size? It's something? a share size. Share size? So it's a little bit bigger. Half a snicker. It's a little bit bigger than a, a reg. A bed of nougat with caramel and peanut butter atop it. I can imagine what the inside out version of this would look like, but let's see. <laughs> okay. This look. Is that a bed of nougat? It's a bed of nougat, half nougat, and then half caramel and peanuts on top. And then where is the... Where's the chocolate? Probably on the inside. Totally in the middle, like a core? Yes, like a core. This is beautiful. I've always wanted to touch nougat straight. I love nougat. <laughs> I, we're so obsessed with it. It's Oh, it's so soft. I would love to sleep on a bed of nougat. Can you buy nougat or did you make this from nothing? I made it from scratch. What? If a Snickers uh, cures hangriness, will this make you more hangry? <coughs> Are we well, gonna, if and if it does, I'm we've got a regular to, Snickers. I'm gonna oh, create the cross section by biting it. I'm trying to pull it apart to show. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, see there we the, go. See the chocolate right there in the middle? First of all, <laughs> you used Snickers chocolate. No, I made the made the chocolate. Wow. It tastes exactly like a Snickers. I'm kind of good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you're so good at your job. Not just kind of. Thank you. Uh, Do you think we can get just a nougat bite? I. Because this is the first opportunity. Love this. The first opportunity ever to get just a nougat bite. Okay, look, this is a little nibble. The reason why I love it oh. is because I love nougat and I love how it mixes with caramel and peanuts. Get, and a, get a big nougat bite. Though. You don't need that much chocolate. A little bit of chocolate is all you need. You're gonna need a nougat right off of it, Link. You nibble the nougat? No, straight nougat, you need to do it. But I'm still experiencing this new Good. golden ratio. It's messy. But it's got a little bit of a homemade thing. Grandma brings something out on some wax paper. Yeah, I could definitely see this like being at a party. Mm -hmm. The moment you see it, you're like, wait, is that? You can kind of already tell it's an inverted Snickers. You might need to put a sign up. <laughs> it would say Shrexins, Shrexins. Can you, so you can't buy jars of nougat? I'm sure you can, but. Or can um, you just make it for me? I'll make some for you. I'll make you a few jars. Just it's it's jars like marshmallow of fluff, yeah. but it's nougat fluff. That's what he wants for Christmas. You just okay, spread you it on it. anything. Okay, this thing this stands the on its own. Thing it's it better than a own. Snickers. Okay, well don't get great crazy, but I think it might be better than a Snickers. It's an inside out win. win. Grilled cheese. Looks like this. A lot of bread and maybe a lot of cheese, depending on if you're good at making it. But I bet you there's a lot more cheese under this close and a lot less bread. Oh, you think so? Maybe twice as much cheese as normal? Let's see. <laughs> oh, Lily. I mean, what was this? What was the first one you came up with? Because it seems like this might be like the first thing that should have been inside out. What can you repeat that? Repeat the question. What's the, fir what's the first one that came to mind? Was it this one? Um, I think that was one of the first ones that we brainstormed. I love that the cheese I love cheese is made into bread shape that is a thick slice of cheese now you're not as much of a cheese guy as me so this might be the wrong ratio for you but I kind of feel like I know I'm a little scared <sighs> look at that. I, I'm gonna line that up so that the corner is all perfect right there on the edge so a lot of butter on the bread is that what's happening it is a buttered bread okay wow Just American cheese? Just American cheese. It's so soft. Just American boys. It's so pillowy. It is a lot though. 
in this one bite. Oh gosh, I love it. I love cheese so much. I feel like I had the amount of cheese that I'm going I would have an, bite. an entire grilled cheese. Like if I just ratios are crazy, man. <laughs> Again, but a cray. If I'm not saying that every time I have a grilled cheese, I want it to be inside out. More often than not, maybe even eight times out of ten, I want it to be a regular grilled cheese. But every once in a while, in a while, you want to go this hard. If I've been a good boy, that's you can't. If you ate that whole thing, treat right? myself. What would happen if you ate the whole thing? Don't. I, it might turn my toilet inside out. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. If this is the, a concept that would happen at a state fair, and we always love those. I've already taken three bites though, Link. Don't do any more, dude. It's so good. I just don't want there to be a, a traffic jam down in there. But you know what? I think I'm willing to call this a sin because it's so indulgent. And you, that's what that a sin you is. you probably shouldn't do I think it. at a state fair, what they would do is they'd take the one piece of bread and they would melt a layer of cheese over both sides and it just wouldn't be, you know, you, you really have some comedic flair so far today. I'm a funny gal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and grilled cheese. And pretty good at what she does. Grilled cheese, inside out. Sin. Before we get to inside out chocolate milk, you cooking Thanksgiving from scratch this year? Well, you need to check out Spork's ranking of the best broths. Or do you need a dessert for Friendsgiving? Will Spork rank the best store-bought Pies. Maybe you don't eat meat. We'll head to Spork for the best vegan turkey roast, and the number one is not Tofurky. It's not? Sporked is your resource for all things Thanksgiving food. Head to Spork.com to find out what you need to buy, because it's the best. Okay, inside out chocolate milk. So there's chocolate inside of milk. It's gonna be like a chocolate milk ball with milk inside, inside of chocolate. Hmm, let's find out. Lily, well, are you up to your tricks again? What? Yeah, we just put like 95% chocolate syrup in a glass and added 5% milk. We so, thought it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Such well, a comedian. You were, you were right, Lily. You know what? I'm not a chef. <laughs> or a comedian? Oh, no, you are a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she is, she is a comedian. <laughs> She's a quick study around here. <laughs> Don't let Link give it to you. It's just chocolate syrup. But there's a little bit of milk. We're back in sin territory. The devil's in the bottom of this glass and I don't wanna let him loose. Um, oh goodness. This isn't nearly as good as that cheese. <clears throat> yeah, it's even worse. Chocolate syrup is not really chocolate. It's something else that's supposed to make something taste like it's got chocolate in it. You that's know what true. I'm saying? It's like- At this level? Mm -hmm. It tastes like something you'd send with an astronaut. Sin with an astronaut. You send, with, oh, I'd love to send with an astronaut, but send with an astronaut going somewhere. Like a tube of this stuff. Anytime they needed to add chocolate to something on their many months journey to Mars. Cool. Yeah, this is NASA chocolate. Would you like to ask with a centronaut? An old astronaut? Chocolate milk, inside out, sin. In case you forgot. This is what a jelly donut looks like. That's a beautiful. A right side out jelly creature. donut. Creature. There's jelly inside the donut. Seems like that's where it needs to be. How on earth would you invert that? Let's see what that jokester Lily did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks like a oh! cranberry sauce type of a thing. I kind of like the consistency. As a pudding guy, I would think you kind of like. Yeah. You're not really a jello man, though. No. Nope. How did you gelatinize this? It is jello. Uh, gelatin. <laughs> With gelatin. <laughs> and and then what's I'll on the turn inside? It over. Um, I shaved off the top layer of that donut. Well, not that exact one. And then I put it inside of it. Now, I know you're tempted to cut this thing in half because you love to get it inside things before you actually bite them, but I feel like that ruins the experience. Okay, I'm gonna do a deep bite. Let's give it a shot. Gotta get, gotta make it all what, the way to the donut. Is it, is it strawberry? Strawberry, yes. Okay, all right. I love the feel. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to spank it. Oh. Okay, do that on your own time. Oh, sorry. Here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. I made it. I made it too. Ooh. 
very fruit roll up -y. Um, it's, um, um, I can't detect any, any donut in the middle. I just like the way it feels, but when I get to the donut part, something about putting the donut inside and it's like, it's, it's suffocated. Like it needed to be exposed yeah. to the air. It's still really dry on the inside. I didn't think that would be the case. Well, you know what? There might be a solution to that. We could dip this directly into our coffee and see how that works, see if it holds up. Okay. It kind of does. Oh. Kinda and look, does. it totally absorbed it. And now it, yeah, this is something. Oh. That changes everything. <laughs> yeah. It Highly totally recommend. got to the donut. <laughs> yeah. It did. Now you gotta bite first, so you gotta know that. But once you do it. But now they know, so when they make their inside out jelly donuts, mm -hmm. you can dip them directly into your coffee. Well no, you have to, you're saying you have to bite it in order to get You have to bite it, it, expose it, dip it into your coffee, and for the observant observer, you'll see that if you turn my hoodie inside out, it becomes Rhett's shirt. <laughs> ah, finally. Did you, you know that? You pointed that out. Yeah. Yes. I saw when you put that on, I was like, how can I match the inside of his hoodie? <laughs> I've got the perfect idea. I did notice that. I really appreciate that, Rhett. Link, every t time, people may not know this, every time in the history of this show that you've worn a hoodie, my shirt has matched the inside of your hoodie. Go to the tape. <laughs> Go back and watch each episode. Lily, do you love this? Because I think we're going. We're on sin territory. It's just so... It's a lot Gelatinous. of jelly, yeah. It's. I think the ratios are a little crazy. Yeah, this is so pretty right here. Yeah, this is it really like does exactly come down to ratios, to doesn't it? You've been ratioed. All right, you could say something like that. I don't <laughs> know. Maybe maybe next time if we do this, jelly donut for now is an inside out sin. sin. Okay, maybe we will do it again. I think you're. It certainly you're, makes you're, for fun. The inventiveness visuals. of application here. Um, is, was definitely stellar. And we had one win. We had a nougat on the outside. It was a little too Snickers. funny. Felt a little threatened. Yeah, well, less, less, next time, less funny, okay? I'll be more boring next time. Great. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Christopher. And that's the sun setting. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. On some sort of a ship, I believe. The sun is setting in the ocean. Maybe the world mm -hmm. isn't flat. Click the top link to watch us play Would You Rather Inside Out Edition in Good Mythic and More. And I find out where the Will of Mythicality's going. No matter what kind of Thanksgiving you're having this year, Sport has something for you. Check out all their rankings of frozen, ready-made, and instant Thanksgiving staples at sport.com.